So there's a lot more that you can do with AutoCAD besides making drawings. One of the output formats is an AVI. An AVI is an animated video. So you can make videos of your models in AutoCAD. Now it's best to do that if you have a 3D model, which I have one available for us. So if you open up the 3D rendering.dwg file, you'll see a 3D model of a simple house on a street and it ends in a cul-de-sac. It's just one house. That's right here. And if we kind of zoom and pan around it, kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So there's a driveway, there's a road, there's a stairway, some windows, garage doors, roof. So that's it. Put us back in plan view here, typing in the word plan. And we're going to use the Anipath command. A-N-I-P-A-T-H. This is for the motion path animation. Now, in order to do this, you need two different things, a camera and a target. You have two options for both, point, a single point, or a path. So if you make your camera go from a point, it's going to stand there and record the video. If it goes along a path, let's say I start here at the road, I walk up the road, come to the house, walk around the house. Imagine me going on a tour of this house with the video camera on my shoulder, and I'm recording that video, and it's pointing to wherever I point to, and it's recording video. So what I'm going to do is create a pathway. So let's cancel this command. I'm going to use a polyline. Let's say I start right here on the road and I walk down the road and then I just walk around the house. So that's the pathway that I use. Now keep in mind, it's going to look from that perspective of that pathway. So I want to raise this pathway up. A good number might be 10. This drawing units is in feet. So this path is 10 foot up in the air. So if I start the Anapath command again, and I want to pick this path. So I go in the path option and I click this button right here, it's the target. I come here and I select the line for my pathway. Now, wherever I start from, if I pick it at the beginning of the line, it's going to start there and then it's gonna travel this direction. If I pick here, it'll start here and then I'll travel this way. So just keep that in mind when you go. You can give it a name, I'm just gonna call it path one for right now. Now I need a target. So imagine I've selected this path, so I'm walking along this pathway. And so as I go, I want to be looking at the house. So I can do a couple of different things. One, I can choose a fixed point, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to pick somewhere in the center of the house. I'm going to call that point one. Or I can pick another path. Depends. You can do some real nice, cool animation tricks with that. But in this case, I just need this to be very simple. I'm going to start here. I'm going to look at the house. And as I move down this line, I keep staring at the house. So as I rotate around, I'm looking at the side of the house. So that's what I'm going to do. So this tells you where you're at. This is the path. And we're ready to go, really. Over here on the right are our settings. Now you can set frames per second. You know, a lot of times 15 frames per second is pretty good. The higher frames per second you have, the better the resolution. It takes more pictures per second. At this rate, it's taking 15 FPS or 15 frames per second, and it's taking 30 frames, and it's going to last for one second. So this is what's going on. Once I clicked here, it kind of reset that. If I up this to two seconds, the number of frames goes up. So this will automatically calculate for us. So if I increase this to, say, 40 frames, one of these numbers has to change, and it's going to be the duration. So I'm going to set this back to one put these at 15 and 15. So this is going to be a shorter video. But the higher the resolution you want, the longer you want it to last, you'll need to raise your FPS rate up and your duration up. They also have a resolution here for the size of the video. This is in pixels, whichever one you want to use a bigger picture obviously is right here. Smaller is right there. I'm going to show this 320 by 240. Now you have a couple of different options of output, AVI, MOV, MPG, or WMV, whatever you want to use. So I'm going to click the preview button right here, and I'm going to let this process, and you kind of get an idea there of what it's going to look like. See, that doesn't last very long. So I'm going to go and switch this to realistic. It's going to take it a little bit longer to render it the first time, because it takes more to render in the realistic mode. And you can kind of get an idea as I move this out of the way, what the camera is doing. See this little camera moving about the pathway and it's staring at the house because that's where I told it to look. So that's what it looks like. Start down the road and it turns because it's always looking at this fixed point. And so it gives you a perspective of the house from the outside as you were to travel around it. So now if the preview looks perfectly fine for you, 
You can just close out of that and click OK. And when you click OK, it'll save your file. It'll create the video. You'll save it in whichever folder you want to save it as, and it's going to create the video. So you have this little timer right here. You can also have an animation preview, and it tells you about how long it's going to take. Now, once you have this, you'll have a file. You'll be able to use it. You'll be able to share it with a client, a potential client, one of your friends, a coworker, or someone who needs to know or get a better look of what it is you're creating. And it's just another format in AutoCAD that will help you to present your designs.